Hi, welcome back to Dow Twine. I'm Dave. So this is part two of our jam band style slow groove in A major. Um, and in part one, if you check that out, great. If not, you know, stay with us or go back and watch that one and then come back to this one either way. Um, it'll be the latest video before this one with the, essentially the same title, part one and part two. So in that one, we isolated the drum beat from that backing track used in the intro and just learned the progression and a few ideas for rhythm playing with this piece. And uh, today we're going to solo over this thing and using mostly major pentatonic. Um, we're also going to use the uh, work, the um, seven note major scale in there, just the, the, for A, the Do, Re, Mi. Okay, so let's start with this major pentatonic, and um, here's, a, here's a slide for it. So I'm playing faster than the tempo of this jam is, but I'm going to, you know, you know the, the diagrams will be featured in the video and there will be links to them on my uh, drive in the uh, description section. So, not assuming that everyone's got these, these patterns down, that's okay. If you just want to stop it and do some work on that. Um, but notice I go lower than that root. You don't have to do that every time, right? Kind of, that's kind of the, the main frame of it. Okay, so you got different octaves you can do that on. Got to do some work there, right? Use your ear, you, you know, check it out. Um, explore a little bit. But that's the main idea for that uh, pentatonic. And here I do like a, a two octave version of it, I guess. Okay, so let's just try that out. Now that that's going to be global. I'll just let you know without doing all the, you know, the uh, guesswork. It's going to, global meaning that it's going to work over every part of this progression, right? Not just the A chord. You be the judge. So, uh, you know, you be the judge, like I said, but that, that sounded like it was working out. So a couple of the little embellishments right away there that I'm using are um, bending in certain places. So, and then kind of hammering from the up to the root. You're actually hammering from the the five to the six, and then to the root above it when you're doing that. If you want to know the the court the scale tones. So that bouncing around like that, you know, pretty simple program, but man, just that will really you can. Now I'm doing a couple little chromatic things there or whatever. Don't get too sidetracked on that. One, basically they come out of this, take that main pattern that, we're, that we've been looking at, and if you fill in between the two and the, the second and the third note, so if you, if you start on your root. Now 
of kind of a bluegrass lick, right? Right, sort of a country is. So you play around with that, but the main map is. that bouncing and that using your open your root and octave you just get a little bit of that chicken head going you know with that and it just adds a lot of flavor without a lot of cerebral stuff stuff you have to think about right I kind of missed the, the, the chord there or whatever. And I crammed a lot in there. That was kind of rambling, right? But I just wanted to, you know, if you're watching that, I just want you to see, um, you know, how you can really, this gets into that idea that we've talked about several times on the channel of finding a pocket, a cluster of three or four notes and grooving on it and letting the chords change behind you, right? Um, that works really well with this style. Um, so bending that one and then work out the octaves. So just kind of do what feels, you know, these, these licks aren't real, you know, sophisticated in their, um, lines, right? They're real boxy in their lines. It's all the kind of stuff that with your, this, the physicality of it that makes it more interesting. The dynamics, you know, accenting things, repeating things. <laughs> There's just an endless amount of embellishments and, and dancing that you can do within that thing. And that's kind of one of the things I'm really trying to you know, uh, uh, move you into here. So, but I want to be clear too about, you know, the mechanics of the, 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 the composition of it. It's... <laughs> diagram and put that backing track on and just park it on that diagram and, and really work out on that until it's under your fingers and you don't have to think about it so much. So the other thing, well, two other things I want to mention here is, as I said, the A major pentatonic will work over this whole progression, all three chords. But another thing you can do along with that is, is move, when you get to the E and the D, move the whole business to those chords. Here's what I mean by that. If this is, down here we're using, you know, that kind of uh, uh, fingering, perhaps. Maybe you're... This is nice because you could you know, really set you up for that pentatonic stuff. So, um, if you think of it this way, you don't have to do that down here because you've got the nut, right? But if you, if you think of it like that, then your E, right, be like if that was barred, you know. So that's kind of where you, you know, end up for your E. And then plug in the same stuff. Now you don't have the open stuff 
down here against the knot like you do up there. So you have to, you know, cover a few more things with your fingers. Then the same thing for D. Let's see how that works. on the second time around there, right? Sometimes when you turn this on, you don't really know where you are. Let me let it go around again. I'll just, it's just kind of a simpler routine for practice of that. That makes sense. So you're really just taking whatever ideas, you know, you've been working out on the A and kind of moving them up there for the, the E and the D. That, that works great. And it gives you that, that kind of nice country simplicity of doing, repeating things in different positions. Okay, now if you want to get a little fancier, Let's go back down to the A. Remember how we're bending that one a lot? If you put that down there. You can hit them together or separate them. That's a lot harder than it looks at first, and I understand the fingering of that's hard. The, the muscle movement is hard. So don't beat yourself up, you know, trying to do that all at once if you're not used to that. But since that's in the intro and you see that a lot, you hear that a lot in the, these styles, um, I wanted you to see what's really going on there. Kind of a, another thing that's kind of a, a pretty straightforward idea, but, you know, getting the, your hand to do that is difficult. Um, the, 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 you know, you don't always have to have that harmonized note in there. You can do, you can get the same effect. you want to really probably do it like that even if you are able to do that right away with the other note you want to really spell it out you know kind of compose it in, the, in that more abbreviated way and then start adding those embellishments um, so here's what we've got going on so far we've got just that scale the A major pentatonic Okay, then some cutting and pasting at times. Remember, the A will work across all of it, but you can also. Okay, um, so one more thing to throw at you here, and this is quite a bit, but you know, I'll get you a routine where you can really put this together in kind of a, uh, hopefully, a consolidated way. The third thing is the um, A major scale, Do, Re, Mi. Okay, I'm kind of fishing it out. I encourage you to do the same thing. If you know some, you know, visual patterns for major scale, great. Um, but, you know, sound it out. And then, you know, if you know them in, in one position, 
you know, when I say know it, it, it almost implies like that you can visualize it or write it down. To really know it is to just work out the sound of that sequence. <laughs> matter where it is I don't have every one of those my brain just then didn't just like plug in every visualized thing that I've ever known about the ace that's not what was going on there I'm just just it's more of a conglomeration of you know ear training and and just kind of fishing for it right so not to be pie in the sky about it but that's what you're shooting for you know don't be afraid to make hit those wrong notes and go outside of your box you know don't try to perfect it in your mind's eye and then play it right um that's a real common hang up um one that i suffered from for a long time actually um and and, and kind of you know uh, uh judging mistakes oh that was the wrong note i gotta start back over and get it right <laughs> you know? It's kind of crazy thinking, really, you know. We're just, you're just, um, you're dancing around and you're looking for stuff that, that feels good, that works, right? Um, so, however you go about mapping out that major scale, let's just see how that works in a global application. It's gonna work, right? It's not gonna be bad, you know? Um, get comfortable just, you know, you're gonna start seeking out the, the, the cooler notes to lean on. And, you know, when it goes to the E, you know, now I'm gonna, you know, move it up or down, what, you know, from where, wherever you are. But just staying in that continuum, right? Staying in that, that river of notes that is that scale, that key. A major in this case is that major sound um, that's all you really need to require of yourself in terms of your thinking right the rest of it um, is really getting so comfortable with it eventually this takes time um, that you're able to just make you know stylistic choices and melodic choices in real time right and, um, you'll get there so that's our routine. We um, use the A major scale and the A major pentatonic over any part of this progression. And then every once in a while, if you want to um, get a little rockier, a little more country, you, you, you get into that, you know, playing the pentatonic that goes with each one of those root notes of those chords, the, the E and the D. That's quite a bit. Okay, I hope that more or less makes sense. I look forward to your comments, and um, I just really appreciate all the, the cool feedback and everything. And you all are doing it. A lot of twangers, as has sort of popped up on the comment, in the comments a lot. Um, which, yeah, let's go with that. We're twangers. <laughs> um, uh, are talking about, you know, really cool progress and changes in their understanding of their playing and 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 stuff starting to happen this is just like really fun and i just love hearing about all of that and everything so um look forward to hearing from you soon take care